All right, hello, uh, this is Princess1215, P-R-N-T-I-C, uh, never mind, I don't think I want to spell that. But anyway, so, today, I am reviewing the new LEGO Star Wars Special Edition Battle for Genosis set. Yeah, pretty cool. I mean, it's Battle for Genosis and a Special Edition. Right. So anyway, let's start reviewing this set. It is ages 8 through 14, but none of us really pay attention, do we? And pay attention to that now, do we? Alright. Set number 7869, 7869. Title, I've already told you, Battle for Genosis. 331 pieces. Took me about, oh, probably an hour in all to build it. I'm estimating this because I had to go to, because I started building it this morning, then I had to go to church, so, uh, had to go to church, and then, and so, uh, then I came back here, so now I've finished building it. So all in all, probably took me an hour at the most. Uh, really good set. Now, uh, so, first, let's go and start reviewing the Bark Speeder Bike with Luminar Unduly. Hold on. Now I am doing this review a bit differently from what I've, I have been doing because, well, I found that I didn't find it very Entertaining, bad quality, blah, 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 blah. So, I'm using my voice recorder at the camera at the same time to... Anyway. So then the speeder bike is exactly like the speeder bike I reviewed for the clone troop pack. Except instead of the green colors on it, it has uh, red. So, yeah, an actual red speeder bike, which we haven't seen since... Spark speeder bike since then we haven't seen that since oh eight I think when the first clone trooper battle pack came out the original that was a nice set only got one of them unfortunately but yeah so uh, so then the new Luminara and Dooley figure a uh, very good figure hold on Uh, the new Luminara figure is very, very, very well done. Uh, completely new, uh, completely new. Completely new figure. Uh, of course, since it does say right on the box, new Luminar on Dooley, you can probably see that in there. So, uh, and then, I did have the Wookiee Catamaran, uh, in it from episode 3. Uh, all the, well, I never built it, but I did keep the figures. Hold on, let me find the older one. There she, there she is. And so then here is the older one with the newer one so you can do the comparison. Uh I think the newer one's a lot better, different face. Uh has the said has the same headdress thing. Wait, well, of course it's Luminar and Dooley, so they have to keep it keep the same one. So uh I I really like the new figure, printed body, the legs are printed again. Hopefully they'll keep printing legs, because I like the legs printed. Uh, so, and then, face has been a little bit redesigned for the Clone Wars. 
And uh, so, again, the set name is Battle for Genosis. And so then that means, because uh, if everyone can think, if you can think back, if you, the viewer, can think back to, uh, excuse me, Season 2 of the Clone Wars, uh, they, uh, the Genosis episodes, uh, the zombie one, uh, it showed that clone trooper, uh, Buzz, I believe Cody said his name was, uh, and then it showed Luminar with goggles on. So this Luminar does have interchangeable faces. Which I think is really nice, the interchangeable face thing. Uh. So. Yeah, I yeah, I really like the interchangeable face. So, uh, green lightsaber, of course, because that's her lightsaber color. Alright, let's move on to Captain Rex. Alright, back. Uh, please just try to excuse the pauses in here, uh, because I am doing this a bit differently. So, uh, you might be asking yourself, why is he reviewing Captain Rex when he already did the Captain Rex review back uh, about six months ago with Food Inc., with all the clone trip reviews he did at once? Well, I'll show you why. Since this set came with another Captain Rex, I love Captain Rex, uh, I decided to customize him a little bit. And so then I made him a battle damaged Captain Rex. So, yeah, because, I mean, a clone trooper armor doesn't stay nice and white. Eh, I suppose, hence the term shiny for new recruits. So I ended up putting black marks, uh, scorch marks, on his armor and, uh, and camo and everything. And so, uh, to make it look battle damage, and I clipped the antenna in half. I was uh, kind of inspired by what happened to Echo in uh, what, what happened uh, was since he was blown up, unfortunately, in the Citadel episode when it showed a smoking helmet. Yeah, you had to die. Uh, and when it showed a smoking helmet, the antenna was kind of clipped. So I clipped Rex's antenna in half to make it look like he's been through an explosion, but survived it. As you know, it's Rex. He's special. So, uh, you can definitely see the difference between the two Rexes here. So, uh, uh, I act, I really like the way this, the battle damage Rex turned out. And so then also I was looking online and, uh, I saw that they're coming out with another Genosis set that comes with a Genosis, Genosian fighter, uh, Kia Mundi and Commander Cody. So when I so hopefully if I get that set then I'll make a battle damage to Commander Cody. So yeah, I, I think it's a good idea. So that way I'll so that way again their armor doesn't stay nice and white. Uh oh, camera just fell. Hold on, let me pick it back up. All right, I'm back. Uh, so now let's move on to the review of the big, uh, the main thing here is the big droid turret. And, uh, so of course it's the big droid tort, t uh, pfft, tort. So, uh, you can put a battle droid in the, uh, in the driver's seat, but, uh, that's a bad picture. Hold on, but there's not uh, there's not really any way for him to stay in there, so he can just fall out if you barely move it. Which I think they could have coughed up a couple extra cents and edited the design so that way, yeah. Uh, 
So that way, the battle droid would have stayed. I think that would have been a lot better, in my opinion, but, uh, because it falls off, but. So then, of course, since it's a droid turret, it has to have those red eyes. As you can see from the picture here, uh, the red eyes. Let's do a full 360 here. Uh, it, and so it is nice and curved and shaped exactly like it is on TV. Stay, stay up, stay on there, plastic droid. And, uh, well, stupid tripod. So, uh, I, I really think it's a good set. Although mine was missing one particular piece that I think is a bit of a problem. My Super Battle Droid was missing his main arm. Because it comes with a heavy Super Battle Droid. And, uh, and so, uh, it comes with the big cannon arm, kind of like it was, uh, kind of like it's seen in Republic Commando, the video game. And so then it only came with that arm. So I'm missing its normal arm that you see on the normal Super Battle Droids that fires normally. Normal, 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 little, little. But so then I am missing that. So, but... Instead, it gave me an extra battle droid arm and normal extra battle droid arm. So now I've got kind of a, so now I've got a short, stubby, tan arm on a super battle droid, which I think is kind of stupid. But oh well, since I was, yeah, no, I'll, it may have just gotten lost when I emptied out the bags. So I'll look around for it, and I bet I'll find it. So. Uh, I give this set a, uh, I give this set a, maybe, 9 out of 10? No. Well, anyway, yeah, I, I, I'm going to give it a 7. It's a good set. They could have done a little better job on the, uh, big droid turret. Mainly because, well, there's a big gap right in between its eyes, so it looks like, it l looks dumb. And then you fire that thing out of it. So, it's not my favorite set, but it, I like, I like it a lot. It's a good set, especially with the speeder bike. Mainly one of the reasons I got it is because, uh, it came with Luminara. So, uh, if you see it, I suggest you pick it up. It's a good set. Limited edition, so it won't be around forever. Alright, Prince 1215, signing off.